I am interested in computers, electronics, and the robotics and math team at my school. Our robot had the ability to go up to a ball, drop its feeder, intake the ball, put it in its uh, catapult, and then catapult it out of the robot into our goal. Hello, my name is Joseph, and I'm in 11th grade. Personally, reading is more difficult for me. I have dyslexia dysgraphia, which makes reading books just uh, kind of tiresome. It's harder for me to digest the information, so to speak. Whereas when I'm listening to the book, I can just listen to it. I can think about what they're saying instead of trying to decode the writing on the page. A lot of times I'll have the problem of getting lost when I'm reading, whereas if I'll, I'm reading along and I'll blink, I'll lose my spot right away unless my finger's right there. I won't be able to refine it for a paragraph or two. Whereas audiobooks, I can just listen. If I happen to blink, there's no problem. I could just, it's highlighted right there or I'm listening along. So I've been using my iPod more. I use the apps read to go and Learning Ally, and I use both of those and their audio book apps. read to go it has the books and downloads them, and then it reads off the textbook. It's got a very computerized voice, it is more for recreational use. It has a lot of the newer releases. It was good for English because they'd assign you books and those aren't textbooks so I'd have to turn to the recreational app just because they were all on there. And that one's pretty great. I mean, I've been able to just look up books and download them. They've got all the Divergent series. Learning Ally is a human narrator reading the books and it takes a little bit longer to download because it has to download the entire audio files. And you'll be able to do the same navigational uses with the page numbers or the sections. The main difference is Learning Ally doesn't have the words, instead it just has page numbers, and that's got a human narrator narrating the book as they're reading it and they describe the pictures. read to go has a much larger library, but sometimes you have trouble reading it because of the computerized voice, whereas Learning Ally has a humanized voice but tends to have less selections, but usually has the guarantee for textbooks and school use. This is the read to go app. From read to go I can either download books from Bookshare or Project Gutenberg, and those are from their website, and it goes to the app. Bookshare gives me uh, the access to books that are still under copyright, for instance Divergent. You need a special privileges or a doctor's slip to say that you qualify for these for these services. You can see the qualifications for bookshares on their website. I can look up a title or the author or an ISBN and you'll get uh, results and you can just click on the book you want, download, and this one's really nice because it only takes a couple of seconds and then you can just Click read and play whatever book you just downloaded. A Scandal in Bohemia 2. Sherlock Holmes. She is always the woman. I have seldom heard him mention her under any other name. Next I'm opening the Learning Ally app. Just like Bookshare, Learning Ally also requires an application and you have to qualify to be able to use it. You can look up the qualifications on their website. To add books to my Learning Ally app, I have to go on their website, search the book, and then add it to my library. From there, I can see it on my iPod and install it. Now, this one takes a little bit longer to install because it's downloading the entire audio book. But I do have uh, my history textbook and my English textbook. Now, this one has the human voice. Selection 3, Cold Weather, by E.B. Weiss, pages 249 to 253. And there's one footnote in this selection, pinch bar, P-I-N-C-H, first word. With Learning Ally, because it doesn't have the words, I generally need the textbook just so I can follow along with the words and to know where I'm supposed to go. 
You can also use Learning Ally and Read2Go on your computer and most other devices. I personally choose to do it on my iPod because it was easier for me to download and it's more portable. I found out about Bookshare and Learning Ally because my mother uh, runs a dyslexia support group. So she goes off and tends to find just different things that could help me get along in school and then I'll install it and kind of demo it for her so I know how to run it and then she'll present it to the rest of the people that she supports. So.